Hi everyone, welcome back to the Big O series. Today we're talking about a time complexity that's a bit more complicated than O of n, but nowhere near as bad as exponential. It's called O of n log n, sometimes referred to as quasi-linear time. You'll see it a lot in efficient sorting algorithms. In this video, we'll use merge sort as a concrete example to understand what O of n log n really means. Before we jump into merge sort, let's first look at a simple operation, merging two sorted arrays. For example, take the arrays 1, 3, 5, and 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. We can use two pointers, one pointing to the first array and the other pointing to the second. Each time, we compare the numbers the pointers are looking at. We take the smaller one, put it into the result array, and move that pointer forward. We repeat this step until one array runs out, and then we simply attach the rest of the other array. In this whole process, each element is visited at most once, so the time complexity of merging two sorted arrays of length m and n is O of m plus n. If the arrays are about the same size, that's O of n. Now that we've got the basics, let's look at merge sort. The idea of merge sort is to break a big array down into many tiny arrays with just one element each. Then, we keep merging them back together, two at a time, using the same method we just talked about until everything is sorted. Here's how we can think about it using a queue. Imagine we want to sort an array with eight elements. At the start, we put each element into the queue as a separate one-element sorted array. Then, each time, we take two arrays from the front of the queue, merge them into a larger sorted array, and put the result back into the queue. After the first round of merging, we have four arrays, each containing two sorted elements. After the second round, we have two arrays, each containing four sorted elements. After the third round, there's only one array left, with all eight elements sorted. That's our final result. So why does merge sort run in O of n log n? The reason is that each round of merging scans the entire array once, which costs O of n, and the number of rounds is about log n. For example, eight elements need three rounds, 16 elements need four rounds, and so on. Multiply those together, and you get O of n log n. Finally, here's the Python code for what we just discussed. It has two functions. The first one is merge, which merges two sorted arrays. The second one is merge sort, which uses a queue to implement merge sort.